Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about unattended robots and specifically how you can go into UiPath Orchestrator and create, configure, and run your very first unattended robot. So if you want to create an unattended robot in UiPath Orchestrator, well, you need to register for UiPath Orchestrator and log into platform.uipath.com. Now, I've got a fresh uh, installation right here, a, a fresh user interface. I haven't configured anything. I have to start off by creating a new service. That means adding the tenant and giving it a name. So I'll give it the name Insights Orchestrator, assign the licenses that the trial edition provides me, and wait a moment as that orchestrator gets provisioned. With the orchestrator provisioned, I click on the blue orchestrator link and then the UiPath Orchestrator user interface comes up. Now the first thing I need to do is change from shared to classic. So notice that you can go from classic folders to shared folders, also known as modern folders. You want to be in the classic folders uh, section in order to follow these steps to create the unattended robot. So the first step is going to be finding the management section and clicking on robots. You notice none exists, so you want to create a standard robot. You need to provide a name. Now, the name that I'm going to provide is Think Station. Now, you probably don't want to use the word Think the word the name Think Station because this name has to match exactly the name of your machine. So, open up a DOS prompt, a command prompt, and type in Who am I? And it'll say what your computer name is and the name that you've logged into Windows is. So you'll see that my computer name is ThinkStation. I think host, doesn't host name provide the same information? So the host name is ThinkStation. And so that's the name that you have to put in here as the machine name. Now there's a separate step that you can do to provision a machine name. I'm doing this all in the same step where I create the robot. I think that's a lot more straightforward. But you'll notice it says here, hey, you know, you're supposed to do this another step. Do you want us to actually provision a machine name ThinkStation for you? And I click that and I say yes. So that'll take care of that step for me. So that's the machine name. What's the name of the robot that I want to create? I'll call it the Insights Robot. I can provide a description and the type is going to be unattended. Okay. Now with an unattended robot, somebody can go into the orchestrator in the cloud, click run and it'll actually run on your local machine. Now in order to run on your local machine, it needs two things. It needs to know the name and the name of the machine and the username to use when logging in and also a password so that it can actually run the command. So first of all, you have to do that who am I again. Copy ThinkStation slash visitor, whatever the name of your machine is. So ThinkStation is the name of my computer and visitor is the username that I log in with. And then you have to provide the credentials. And these are the credentials for your computer. This is not the credentials to log into UiPath Orchestrator. It's the credentials that you use when you log into Windows when you start your computer that this process is going to run on. So that creates the basic robot. So now you've got an unattended robot created. The next step is to click on Environments. You have to create an environment, so I'll call it the Insights Environment. And then you have to associate your robot with this environment. If you don't do this, the further steps when you create a process and run the robot simply aren't going to work. So make sure you've done that step. A lot of people forget it because the contrast between that sort of soft blue and the white isn't very pronounced here and people just forget that that tab even exists. But make sure that you have that environment set up. Now that is the basics for creating the robot. But if you actually want to deploy some code and have that code run in the robot, there's a couple of steps that you have to take. You actually have to let UiPath Assistant know about that machine. UiPath Assistant is a process that runs on your local computer and it communicates with the cloud-based UiPath Orchestrator offering. And so you have to go into UiPath Assistant, go into this Orchestrator Settings, Click on, you may start off in general, click on orchestrator settings. And you notice that it wants an orchestrator URL and a machine key. Well, the URL is easy to get. The URL is just everything prior to orchestrator underscore in the URL of your service. So for me, that's this chunk of text right there. So I go back into the URL and I paste that. 
Now the machine key is the key for that machine that was created in that create unattended robot step. Now you notice this link down here for machines. And it's got this base machine that it creates right off the bat. I'm going to delete that. You don't have to, but it just gets in the way for me. Remember when I created the robot, I said it was going to be associated with a computer named ThinkStation. That's the machine right there. And there's this link over here to copy the machine key. It's a long hexadecimal number, so you don't want to write it out yourself. If you click that, it copies it onto the clipboard, and then you can just paste it in right here. At that point, you can just click Connect. And now the process running on your local computer is going to connect with the UiPath orchestrator. And now your local machine can be told to run processes locally from the cloud. Now, what process do you want to run? Well, you have to publish a process and publish some code up to the UiPath orchestrator in order for it to know what to run. I've got a little Hello World example here. And it just prints out hello world like that when you run it. So there's nothing really special about it, but it's a good example to use to prove how UiPath Orchestrator can work. With uh, UiPath Assistant configured and connected, I can actually just click publish from UiPath Studio and it will actually publish to Orchestrator rather than doing a, a lo local publish of the resources. I click publish. It says it published this up to the UiPath Orchestrator. And I can now prove that by clicking on packages in UiPath Orchestrator. And you can actually see UiPath Hello World has actually been uploaded. And it was uploaded a few seconds ago. So this isn't razzle dazzle here. This is it actually just work. Now I'm moving code from my local UiPath Studio up into the cloud where it can be run. Or at least it can be managed. It's always run on my local machine. Now, how can I actually run that? Well, after moving that code up, you can ask to create a process. You can create a new process and you can select that package that was just uploaded. Give it a name, the Hello World process. Choose an environment. Remember that environment was what we created right after we created the robot. It's a step that people often forget, but it's absolutely required. And that's it. That will create this process. And so now there's a process being managed in the cloud by orchestrator that runs on my local machine. And I can actually run this process just by clicking this start a job right here. I can click on that. It says, what robot do you want to use? Well, I'll use the insights robot that I just created. I'll click start. It sends the command to my local machine. Oh, and I've got a failed process here. Oh, and it looks like my username or password is incorrect. So let me just go back to my machine. I will edit this for just a moment. I've got my licenses, so all my licenses are set up. Go back to the robot, edit it, correct the password. Now I'm worried about my password. So update the password and come back to the jobs that are waiting to run. See if I can restart that job. And there you go. That's everything you need to know about creating that first unattended robot in UiPath Orchestrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on enterprise software development there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Check out Maestro Fresh's West's old album. Check out Backbone Slide. I think you'll love it. And finally, why don't you subscribe on YouTube?